Mentorship is crucial for anyone's success, but for students with learning differences or ADHD, the tendency is just to feel alone. And so to have a mentor who can say, I've been there, like I, I get what you're going through. I was in eighth grade not finishing my history test. That's so powerful. Oscar. Awesome, Oscar. The yes. kid, they come in here whispering about their learning differences. Like the first day, there's always a game where we say, who has ADHD? And like, nobody will raise their hand. And then by day five, the last day, they just leave like so proud of how they learn. Camp Eye to Eye is a condensed version of the entire year-long Eye to Eye mentoring program where we do every art project and we have relationships with campers and counselors where they get the full mentoring experience combined with all of the summer activities. For so many kids with learning and attention issues, school is tough. I have a learning difference. School was really hard for me and the summer was like my sanctuary time. But for a lot of families with kids with learning and attention issues, they think that the answer is more school. When you think about school and academic success, there's academics and then everything else. Like, if you can read really well, but you don't know how to manage your time and do homework, you're not gonna do it so well. The summers are amazing opportunities to help your students who may not be feeling so confident in themselves because of their learning challenges during the school year, build up that self-esteem. No more school for right now, so the kids get to like, step out of their school personas, whatever label they have or stigma they faced at school, they don't get here. It's a place where everybody accepts each other. All of us have learning differences. I have dyslexia. Relating to that and understanding that we've been there, bonding happens a lot faster. We really get to know the kids. Today, the campers will be doing the utility belt project, and that's uh, a project about accommodation. So, They'll make basically a tool belt of all the accommodations that they need to be successful in school and in life. I learned like strategies for working as a team and different ways to work together. They work with you. If like uh, you need help with something or you couldn't finish your thing in time, you could ask them and then they'd help you. The parents say goodbye to the kids in the morning and then greet them in the afternoon. The point is the inspiration and the commonality, not structure. We've got a lot of things that we've accomplished this week, but the biggest one right now is Paper Plate Awards. I think it's very important to have a mentor, to somebody who serves as a role model. To just build her confidence more and also to embrace who she is and every part of her. To hear it from someone who's close in age to you, who you think is cool, means so much. The most important thing I should say is, is self-advocacy. And I want her to see that it is something that's completely manageable. This is not the end of the world because you've been diagnosed with a particular learning challenge find them a mentor or a role model or just an, a buddy, an ally, somebody else who knows what they're going through. You have so many young adults in your communities who can easily become your child's mentors, who can help your kid by inspiring them and connecting with them and meeting with them periodically and just showing them that they're not alone.